ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு டேரிங் மரைன யூடியூப் சேனல் டுடே வீர் டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் ட்ரை டாக் ப்ரிப்ரேஷன் ஸோ வாட் ஆர் த ப்ரிப்ரேஷன் தட் வி டன் பிஃபோர் ட்ரை டாக்கிங் எ ஷிப் அண்ட் ரோல் எ ஃபியூ மந்த்ஸ் பிஃபோர் வி ஹேவ் டு நோ த இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் அபவுட் த ட்ரை டாக்கிங் தட் மீன்ஸ் வி ஹேவ் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த எஸ்டிமேட்டட் டைம் அண்ட் டியூரேஷன் டு தட் டு பி டேக்கன் ஃப்ரம் த சீஃப் அண்ட் ஜிஜர் அண்ட் வி ஹேவ் டு டேக் ப்ரிலிமினரி ரிப்பேர் லிஸ்ட் தட் மஸ்ட் பி கலெக்டட் அண்ட் அரேஞ்ச் பை த இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் ஆஃப் த சீஃப் அண்ட் ஜிஜர் then repair work that must be divided into two categories one for the dry dock and other for the ship staff and the repair list must contain the following that means number of sea chest and grids and their size number of sea section valve and their size then number of ship side discharge valve and their size number of scupper valve and their size number of piping to be repaired including their length inside or outside diameter bends number of flanges and the Line, line diagrams and all that we need to do then number of engine room valves to be renewed or repaired and their specification main engine overhaul and preparation spare parts tools their measurement and instrumentation their instruction manual etc then auxiliary engine boiler pump and other machinery preparation for should be pre- prepared for the overhauling exact location of items to be repaired or overhauled must be marked with a tag label according to repair code tools and spares store should be checked and prepared for use store and spare requisition which will be repaired to use during dry docking periods must be ordered all tool must be marked with paints to prevent mixing with shipyard ones organization of the engine room staff safety purpose and assigned work should be done and distribute work assignment among the engine room staff in group by group then make use instrumentation or instructions on manual and all drawing must be kept ready for the prompt work and a few days before the dry docking what are the things that we need to do ballasting and transferring carried out in corporation with the chief officer to achieve required trim and draft engine room bilge well and tank top to be cleaned thoroughly all tank soundings to be taken and accord all portable fire extinguisher to be ready at required place fire fixer fire fighting ex- installation to be kept ready and and required by the shipyard road emergency generator emergency fire pump emergency air bottle emergency air com- compressor etc must be kept in good condition shore cooling sea water supply for refrigeration and air condition plant must be ready to receive if you need shore alternative supply or shore supply at end of dock you have to understand the face their hertz volt ac or dc etc main engine crankshaft deflection should be taken and recorded before a few hour of dry docking what are the things means boiler should be shut down and release all steam pressure by using easing gear an instruction to give all engine room personnel that smoking is prohibited in the engine room at ship is still in dry dock main air bottle emergency air bottle press up to full and close tightly ready to stop ship generator as soon as vessel under dry dock and to be kept an electrical officer stand by on shore connection box when shore power is taken settling and service tank top up after topping up sounding of all tanks must be taken and recorded remind all engine room personnel their duty and ready for emergency use on the dock what are the work that we need to do the repair work to be divided into two categories like i mentioned one for ship staff and other for the dry dock tool and spare must be checked and prepared for use take daily record of work done by ship staff and dry dock workers negotiate within the charge of dock yard about the work seekers and show him location of item to be repaired at the end of every day feedback condition of work to chief engineer examine all work done by dry dock and engine crew if unsatisfactory condition was found inform chief engineer and dock yard in charge all engine crew personnel should be instructed to use store and spare thorough, thoroughly without wasting bottom survey it should be carried out together with class surveyor that means with master or chief engineer or chief officer then assist class surveyor visit and subsequent survey supervise when at sea cannot overhaul work cannot be done and witness for docking survey items also should be there and supervise the docking repair item measure the stern to wear down rudder wear down jumping cranes etc that means rudder wear down and rudder drop then properly check 
for properly check cavitation corrosion any damage or crack deformation mainly properly drop so after dry docking we have to know the price negotiation that means manpower material repair list and all then dock charge or damage claim we have to make a report of what are the work done in this during dry dock and all closely check sea walls performance of repaired machinery took managing crankshaft deflection and all we have to do a cross checking and all these are things that we need to do in dry dock before during and all thank you